Hello everyone. Um, as uh, Steph said, my name is Brian and I'm an uh, English and History lecturer at New College Nottingham. It all sounds a bit fancy, but essentially a teacher. Okay, uh, GCSE English and uh, History. And what made me want to get into teaching? I guess I think by the time I got to where you guys were, by my final year, I thought, what is it I want to do with my degree? And I thought, actually, I'd like to try and pass on some of the knowledge I've learned. Ideally, the target was solely history, but you know, it's worked out that I've kind of had to pick up both subjects um, due to just staffing arrangements and also said, would you like to do this as well at the same time? Uh, I just have to say, I wanted to sort of impart that knowledge that I got. One of those idealistic people thought, actually, this would be a good idea if I was to go and do uh, some teaching. And there was actually, while I was doing um, my master's here, there was a programme called Students in Classrooms and they put in university students from here and from Nottingham Trent into the classrooms, various schools and colleges that participate in this. And I found out about this and I thought I'd go along and have a look. And that's how I got into teaching. I actually did my students in classrooms at New College Nottingham. And by the time I'd finished, it's, there's so many paid uh, hours, they said, oh, we've, got, uh, we've actually got a position coming up. Would you interview for it? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. It was just like an absolute... Like, you know, early Christmas present, if you will. And I thought, yeah. So I went through the process and uh, I was successful. And I started teaching last academic year. So this is my second academic year. And never looked back. It's great. There are trying days, don't get me wrong. Okay. But then there's some really, there's some really great days. And it's, it's very, very rewarding. You know, most people, they get to teach and it's like, why would you do that? But then, of course, there are days you do have some fantastic times. Okay. Um, how does American and Canadian Studies help with that? Some of you might be adding. Um, well, it's first, it's one of the most employable degrees out there. Um, and the biggest way that it helps, or a couple of the ways it really helps my learners anyway, they, they say to me, Ryan, you know, what does this bring to the party? Well, first of all, if you think GCSEs, particularly in English and history, they're writing a lot of essays. Okay? Um, and it gives me that opportunity to say, right, this is how you structure it. How do I structure it? What does an introduction do? What does a conclusion do? These sorts of things. First of all, it helps immensely then. I said, right, do it this way. This is how I did it. Okay. Um, they also sort of say, you say, but Ryan, I'm, I'm thinking of going to university. Because sometimes, particularly at the college, you do get mature learners who have taken a break from education, much like I did, and then they came back into, they've come back to and think, I need this because I want to go and do that at university. I want to go and do this job. Like, Ryan, you applied to university. How do you do it right? And so you can sit down with them and spend you know, tutorial time with them. Just say, right, this is what you do for your application. You take them through the nightmare that is the student finance forms, you know, these sorts of things. And just impart your knowledge on my experience here at, at the university. Say, well, this is what I did. Don't do this, but do this, you know. And, and, and also, when it comes to writing those dreaded personal statements, you know, that I'm sure that you're all familiar with. Oh, I've got to write, but right, here's you, here we go. And the English, particularly, the persuasive style can really assist with that. So like this, you, you know, apply what you've learned in my lesson to what you're going to do with yourself in tutorial, with your, uh, you know, your uh, personal statement. But also, when it just comes to knowing a lot, you know, in lessons you can bring a lot of knowledge from what I learned here to my lessons, both in English, when it comes to like literature and things, but also in the history sector as well. You know, how the world works. And there's been moments where I've gone into sociology lessons when they're learning about slavery and things like that. So we, we, we picked up so much of that on the course. It's like, Ryan, would you mind just popping in for like 40 minutes and just doing a almost like an overview stroke lecture on slavery. Absolutely, you know, you pop in and they love, the, the students love that when you, you kind of like swap teachers all of a sudden. Be like, what's going on? And then they kind of get a grip of what's actually happening. Um, to market myself, I think, particularly with the masters on board, the college really liked that. There was a sense that here's someone who's, you know, gone back again to do a, a further year and we're very sort of, okay, this is someone who's applied himself, done very well, this is someone that we want on board. Okay, the confidence as well, obviously, you know, that you guys will have from that degree and from everything else that you do, helps as well in the interview, and in front of smaller people with sometimes bad attitudes. So, you know, you've got to be able to have sort of something about you, I think. And that was the big thing that my head of academy says. It's like it's the attitude that you bring, and it's and it's what you bring to the party. So, I don't know if that's ten. Is that ten minutes? That's I don't know. I've, I've droned on yeah. long enough. Okay.